a pipeline will normally begin with a source of data. This might be data read in from a file. Basic file readers can be found in the Data Access and Manipulation folder. To start building a pipeline, you can drag a component into the protocol window. Or double click on the component in the folder to add it to the protocol. Right clicking on a component brings up a context sensitive menu. You can delete unwanted components from here. We now have a protocol containing one pipeline with one component. This component is read because it has a compulsory parameter with no value set. To see the parameters, Click on the component to select it. The parameters will be displayed in the bottom right-hand window. The source parameter, displayed in red, is the compulsory parameter for this component. The value of the source parameter can be any URL for a file. We will use some of the sample data provided with Pipeline Pilot. The component is now blue, showing this one component Pipeline can run. To run the protocol, click on the green arrow on the standard toolbar. The green number shows you how many data records were read into this pipeline. You can also run protocols by pressing F5. Now we will display the data being read by the file reader by using a file viewer. You can search for components by typing in the search window above the Components folder. By default, the search is strict, meaning it will only match the beginnings of words. An asterisk may be added to the beginning of your search, and this will search for that substring anywhere in the target name. A search history will be saved, and recently used components will appear at the top of search results. As you type a search term, matches will appear. Running the pipeline with the viewer will open a browser window displaying an HTML report of data that you read in from the file. You can save the protocols you have created into your user space. By default, the protocol will be saved to your user space. You can see the protocols in your user space by clicking on the tab with your username. You can now close the protocol and then reopen it by double clicking on it when you want to use it again and run it.